Habits are how we embody our identity. Every action that we take is a vote for the type of person we want to be. It's a feedback loop. Habits shape our identity, and our identity shapes our habits. They can help us achieve our goals, but habits shouldn't be about gaining something. They should be about becoming someone. For example, the goal is not to learn an instrument, but to be a musician. Not to write a book, but to be a writer. Every time you work out, you are an athlete. Every time you make good food choices, you are a person who values their health. Reinforcing our identity in this way helps make our good habits stick and our bad ones less likely to happen. A simple tool I use to help achieve this is a habit tracker. They make habits satisfying by providing a clear indicator of progress. There are a number of different ways this can be done, like moving a paperclip from one jar into another each time you achieve something, or adding check marks to a calendar each day. I use an app called Streaks, but there are tons of apps that do the same thing. When I use Streaks, I like to follow the don't break the chain principle, which means I never try to miss a day of completing my habit goals. If I do miss a day, I try extra hard to not miss another. Life gets in the way sometimes, and just missing one is an accident. But if I start missing two or more, it's the start of a new habit. Besides just adding regular tasks to streaks, I also add negative tasks, which start each day as complete. The streak for a negative task is only broken when you mark it as missed. Don't stay in bed past 4 a.m. is an example of one of my negative tasks. Streaks also has other options like health and time tasks, but I'm not really interested in using those for myself. What I like about streaks is how simple the user interface is which means I'm never at a loss for how to use it, with one exception which I'll mention later. How visually appealing it is. Everything is bright, bold, big, which to me gives it a weight, something that says these tasks are important. How satisfying it is to check off a habit. You get the circle filling animation and a chime that feels rewarding. If you complete a whole screen, you get a unique chime and the habits you've entered become gold. Love that. When you fail a negative task, you get a more melancholy sound, which motivates you to avoid missing that goal. I also like how it limits you to only 12 habits, which means the habits you do add to the app need to be the most important ones you're trying to build or maintain. You can get around this by stacking habits into a routine, like I do with my morning routine task, which is a combination of a few tasks I like to do one after another each morning. The one issue I've encountered with streaks is the undo function. You have to shake your phone or tablet to undo a task you didn't mean to complete. And sometimes the shaking just doesn't register and you feel kind of like an idiot shaking your phone like it's a carton of orange juice or something. I highly recommend giving habit tracking a spin. It's a relatively small change that's had a big impact on how I approach each day. Over time, you build more and more evidence that you're living the life of the person you want to be, until you realize that as long as you continue performing those actions, then you already are that person.